Your book is full of mistake. That's why you ain't got no power. You are. You're studying a Bible full of mistake. You don't read. You don't make no research. So here you go. You go to church. You listen to a guy that tells you things. You just believe that what he's telling you is the truth. But you don't read. You don't make no research. Then in your life, you're like, I'm going to church. I believe. I believe. You believe in what? You you don't believe in God. You believe on, on a human being. And this is the worst thing you could do to God. If you study, you will see that he will not tolerate that you believe in another God than him. Then you're going to say, no, 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 no. Uh, the, the human being that sacrifices life for me, he is God. Oh, that's the worst thing. That's the worst thing you could do. If you study the the, 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 the Torah, you will see that the worst thing you could, or the Kabbalah, is the worst thing you could do to God. To pretend that another human being is God. Oh, Lord. Sorry for saying that, but it's so true. Then you're like, why my life ain't blessed? You got the right... Uh, you're, even though you got faith, the problem, you got faith in the mistake. And your book is full of mistake because you don't know that all the translation and all the books has been changed for because they don't want you to know the truth. But you like, no, no, no. My, my, the man on the podium he, he is telling me the truth. I don't need to study. I don't need to read. I, he's my friend. Well, your friend, you'll see what's going to happen to you because of your friend.